I have an update on this gift that was presented to me by China. I came in here in the middle of the night and I had to get it out of here. When I met with representatives from China last week and donated the World War II book, I wasn't expecting anything in return. That's not why I gave it to them. So when they said, we have something for you, I was like, oh, okay, what is it? They were extremely humble. They didn't tell me much about it. All they said was, it is a very important gift, and they presented it to me. If you didn't see the YouTube video or the photos I posted, they presented me with this yellow porcelain teapot. So I noticed the next day on Chinese social media, this teapot is all over. And I see in my comment section here in America on YouTube, do you know what they gave you coming from Chinese people? It's like, well, they said it was important, but it's priceless. It's actually priceless. It's the highest diplomatic honor that China can bestow on anyone it's usually reserved for heads of state. That they would give it to someone like me is unheard of. So this shade of yellow is known as egg yolk yellow. It's synonymous with the tradition of the emperor. The writing here means icing on the cake or to make a good thing better, to improve something better than when I originally found it. The bird and the gesture of the gift itself is synonymous with good luck, which I'm going to need. I kept seeing people writing, what you did is so historic, you have no idea. And I thought, well, you guys are just being nice, but no. They don't give gifts like this to people like me. When I found out what it was, I literally cried. I'd love to display it at my store. For right now, I can't. It's just too high profile of an object. I will never sell it if I did. And again, I never will. It's mine forever. It is Thanksgiving here in the United States, and I am so thankful that the craziest chapter of my life had such an incredible, impactful, and historic conclusion. I'm so thankful for everyone who stood by me, who stood up for me, and most importantly of all, I'm so thankful for China for bestowing such an incredible honor upon me and for always having my back throughout this thing.